Universal health coverage is one of the government's top health priorities, aimed at guaranteeing access to quality health care for all without being exposed to lack of funds. This strategy is based on the establishment of a single national technical and financial management structure. Phase one of the project was launched on April 12, 2023 in Betway, the east of the country. Under the terms of the project, every Cameroonian citizen will be required to have a health coverage card with a unique identification number, enabling them to receive care and services throughout the country. Priority beneficiaries are pregnant women, newborns and children up to the age of five. We are going to strengthen this basket of care, particularly for pregnant women and children aged 0 to 42 days. We are currently covering five regions. We are going to move into two regions, namely the Northwest and Southwest. I would also like to remind you that the health voucher is available for 6,000 francs. But over care, whether promotional or preventive, such as vaccination, will be offered in all 10 regions. According to official data in 2021, only 6.46 percent of the Cameroonian population is covered by a social health protection mechanism, with a very low mutualization rate estimated at 2 percent. Over the same period, the coverage rate of health services is 40 percent for the minimum package, whereas the expected rate according to the WHO index is over 50 percent. Monsieur le Président de la République a insisté sur le fait que nous devons nous assurer que le financement... The President of the Republic has insisted on the need to ensure that the financing of universal health coverage is sustainable so as not to be paralyzed by the non-reimbursement of health care costs. So for 2024, we are going to focus on that. By 2050, the African Development Bank estimates that Africa's population will reach 2.5 billion, making the continent the richest in terms of human capital. The government is doing everything in its power to meet the population needs in terms of quality healthcare provision.